Hey there, my name is Daniel, People Systems Company. The point is that you have got a Hikvision equipment, either it's an NVR, DVR or any security camera out there, you're a human being as I am and you have forgotten the password that you set for your Hikvision appliance. And here I'm going to address that issue and help you solve that problem, provide you various links and references. And to mention, we got a lot of high-end Hikvision stuff on a People Systems store website within a world about delivery for you. So specify your subscribe and get your special offer right away. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Hikvision have abandoned a scheme of factory setting a default password for their devices for some years now and requires us to create a unique password every time as we activate a new camera or a recorder. And of course, that was the right move considering how easy it is to bypass a default password and get into your system owing to a common user's inattention. And though we are used with a regular password reset procedures in the various sources when they can just email us a password, a, res a password reset link, here with a metal and high-end CCTV equipment, it goes a bit differently. So how to reset a password on your Hikvision equipment? Number one, and the easiest one, is based on using a physical reset push button on a body of your device if it has one. Number two, Assume that we are still logged into a CDP and IVMS software and can reset a camera from there. And option number three, unfortunately, is the most time-consuming but a 100% verified one. It assumes that we extract an XML file from a camera via a CDP tool and send it to your local distributor from whom you bought a device or to a Hikvision support in your country and you can find a timestamps for every option in the video description. So number one, locate a reset button on the body of your camera and try looking under a screwed cover. Commonly, your camera has this button if it also has a memory card slot and they regularly locate it near each other. And the same is indicated by the F letter standing for the flash in a product code. And what you do next, unplug the camera from a power supply. And after that is done, press hold a reset button and restore a power supply. While you continue holding a button for the uh, further 10-15 seconds, then release a button and just wait until a camera reboots completely. And to mention, this is what called a factory default and thus you will see an an inactive status in the CDP tool and will have to create a new password and activate a camera as a new device. Yet there are a lot of cameras having no new reset push button on the body and we are forced to go to option number two and three. As a Hikvision is mostly a professional equipment, the activation process happens via manufacturer's PC software, which is a CDP and IVMS tool. And thus it is supposed that your camera was activated via those tools. So option number two is even easier, but it's possible only if you are still logged into a IVMS on your PC. So launch up the program and head to a device management tab. Once you are there, locate your camera in your device management field. This is mine. You will see it's online if it says active, there is it. And you will see a globe icon uh, under a made status. Now click, now click on it to highlight and press a remote configuration and general. From here, we need to go into a system tab. Ah, and there we are already on it. And from here, we're selecting a maintenance. No, not now updating. And now as you see, we are pressing a default in a maintenance under a system tab. Uh, so it displays a warning, we are confirming press an OK and the device is restored. Your camera is going to reboot now, what's going to take about a minute 
and you'll have to create a new password and activate it manually via CADP tool. We address the option number three if there's nothing else left and unfortunately the previous ones are unavailable. Every camera is obligated to be activated via CADP or IVMS software, so you probably have it installed on your PC and your camera has an active status in there. Now that is what we do. Open up a CADP tool and you'll be able to see all the equipment within your subnet. Locate the one you need to reset and mark up the box left to it. That the tab on your right will unfold. And here, below a modify button, you'll find a forget password inscription. Now we're pressing it. In this pop-up window, we are pressing an export button and selecting a folder to download a generated XML file to our computer, which could be a desktop folder for me. And I see a success message, which is great. From this point, you need to send this generated XML file. Here is it in my case. Yeah. So you need to send this XML file to the company from which you have purchased a camera. And note that you must not unplug a camera from a power supply from the internet while you are waiting for the reply from that company. So yeah, as I told you before, contact your company's technical support by phone or email, briefly describe your situation and attach this file. They usually requiring you to specify an order ID, your name and your email address to make sure you are a device owner. If that's not your option, contact any equation support in your country or in nearest to it should do the thing. And of course, we always take this kind of request from our customers and people systems. And in the end, you will receive an email with, with an XML file, uh, the modified XML file attached, that you save onto your computer. And here is it, downloading, yeah, putting it on my desktop and deleting the old one that I don't need anymore. And here I have it, here I have it. Yeah, and now we're going back to the CADP tool. Do the same pop-up we've seen. With that difference that this time we are importing that file that you received under a step two in here. So we tick left to the import file and select that received file. In my case from the desktop. There's it. And now we're creating a new password and kind of activating a camera. So let me do that. And well, of course, replicating it one more time. And if done right, the next thing you'll see will be a success message and the pop-up will vanish. And now your camera is restored, activated again afterwards with a new password that you probably won't forget this time. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope I helped you. And if I did, please rate the video with a thumbs up. And you also can go to our People System Store website and get any Hikujin equipment within a worldwide delivery for you and specify your subscribe to get a special offer.